Powerful Galactic Beings, welcome back to another video. No matter how much you thrive in your social interactions, how many accomplishments you achieve, or how much good you spread into the world, you are bound to have naysayers. It's a harsh reality that some people detest when others succeed. Haters are those who underestimate, undermine, or belittle your efforts. Whether you achieve something grand or remain idle, there will always be someone hurling negativity your way. These people cannot be tamed, but you can certainly give them something worthy of their conversation. These kinds of folks are fueled by jealousy and malice. Your shortcomings give them more pleasure than their own successes. These detractors consider everything a zero-sum game and envision scarcity and limitations everywhere. Haters can be likened to the envious folk because the same reason that triggers envy also makes them detractors of your achievements. If you excel, they feel it takes away something from them and no one truly feels happy when they believe something has been snatched from them. Whenever you pursue your joy, you will inevitably encounter individuals who are unhappy with your progress simply because it's not in line with theirs. Envious critics create an illusion that your every stride sets them back. For those looking to upgrade their lives and advance towards significant goals, encountering resentment from envious people can be a heavy blow. People will often project their insecurities on you. Haters will hate, and unfortunately, there's not much you can do about it. However, today I'm here to shed some light on why these people are the way they are and to offer some practical tips for dealing with them. Though not extensive, this list contains the most probable reasons as to why you're suddenly being met with hostility, especially from people who were once dear to you. Remember that haters will hate when you get better, so go out there and prove them wrong. Success breeds envy, my friend. If you're crushing it, haters are bound to be seething with jealousy. When you outshine them, they can't handle their loser status. Even when you don't fail, they're hoping and praying that you do. And if you evolve, they won't. Guess what? They'll still find a way to hate on you. Here's the thing, everyone wants to live the high life, but only a few are willing to put in the hard graft to get there. Well, guess what sunshine? You're in the right place. You can learn how to get your act together and snatch that sweet life you've been dreaming of. But beware, those haters will always try to drag you down instead of lifting themselves up. It's the quickest way to get haters, just flourish at what you do. My boxing coach always used to say, if you want friends, don't be successful. Sound familiar? Don't kid yourself. When someone achieves something great, you can guarantee the haters will convince themselves it was just luck. They can't stand the idea that someone out there is doing better than them. It's easier for them to pretend it's impossible and discredit anyone who's making it happen. And if you're a friend, well, that's even worse. Your achievements just signal to them that they'll never be as good as you. They might pretend like they're rooting for you, but deep down they're smugly patting themselves on the back for being superior to you. So, go ahead and improve your life, but be ready for the haters to come out of the woodwork. They won't be able to resist trying to bring you down. But you know what they say, haters gonna hate. If you're constantly surrounded by those who genuinely care for your success, then count yourself lucky, my friend. You see, close friends and family have an invested interest in your prosperity. However, those casual acquaintances, the ones who rely on the social order to maintain their self-esteem, well, they will inevitably feel the need to drag you down. When you make strides in moving up the social ladder, their jealousy will rear its ugly head. And let me tell you, it's not because of your actions, it's because you remind them of what they're not doing. This, above all else, will incite their resentment, envy, and dare I say, hate. Don't be fooled when they turn on the charm though, they've missed their chance, and you've surpassed them. You've elevated yourself to a higher caliber of people, and you know it. They, on the other hand, have that classic case of sour grape syndrome. It makes them feel better to hate on you rather than reflecting on their shortcomings. Now if the tables were turned, and you were the one at the bottom, well, they'd write you off, wouldn't they? But if you manage to turn things around, that's where the real fun starts. Suddenly, those who abandoned you are angry that you didn't drown. The audacity of you, acquiring a life better than the one you had. You were meant to remain nothing, and now you've become something. 
It sounds like the surpass people motivation for hate, doesn't it? So let them hate, my friend. Their negativity only adds fuel to your fire, and it's not like you need them anyway. You've carved out a path for yourself, surrounded by those who truly support you. So hold your head up high and don't let their bitterness drag you down. You're destined for greatness, and nothing, nobody, can stop you. The stark contrast lies not in surpassing the individual, but abstaining from crashing. The detestable toxic personalities, in their twisted manner, derive pleasure solely from the suffering of others. When you, against all odds, emerge from the brink of destruction, they fabricate a narrative to explicate their abandonment. They cannot admit that you have transformed into a better version of yourself and instead vilify you as the malicious protagonist. Though you may not have captained the ship, you acted as the first mate, and the vessel was bound for ruins. After gaining some sense, you jumped ship and henceforth were condemned as the most loathsome entity by the crew you deserted. The fact that you acted in your self-interest and became an improved person holds no bearing to them, you are now a backstabber. This serves as the prime cause for people reminding you of your past or where you hail from to drag you down or restrict you from climbing higher. When your origins were in the gutters, others will abhor your freedom from that pit. It's elementary to handle jealous connoisseurs. Ignore them and continue progressing towards your aspirations. If you can be swayed by the criticism of others, your plans aren't ambitious enough, and you haven't earned the privilege of having dislikers. Yes, that's accurate, you can overlook them entirely. If you have a glimmer of ennui, taunting them could be amusing. Still, I recommend eschewing the negativity they radiate as it can pull you down significantly. There isn't a magic formula to extricate yourself from haters, no spell to win them over. Some folks will resent you regardless of your actions, and that's okay. The world is vast, and negativity loves masquerading as trivial objections. Listen up, haters. Your petty attempts at bringing people down only fuel your sick desire for brutality. For those of us who may be shy or suffer from social anxiety, fighting back may not come easily. But don't be fooled into thinking that keeping your head low will make them lose interest. It won't. In fact, it will only embolden them. The best way to put these bullies in their place is to observe them, gather intel, and watch them like the prey they are. Use this information to make them realize just how pathetic they truly are. If they continue to spew their venom, don't be afraid to throw it back at them. Let them know that their insults are weak, their attempts at cruelty are laughable, and that they don't matter. Embrace who you are and don't let these losers dictate what's right or wrong about you. They may think they are entertaining themselves, but it's time to show them that their behavior is nothing short of pathetic. So stand up, speak out, and don't let the bullies win. They'll be the ones eating humble pie, or should I say, eating shit. Repetitive bullying is plain wrong, especially if the recipient isn't laughing along. Some bullies do it for the sake of social status, in a bid to appear cool or in control in front of the group. However, Grasping the motivation behind a bully's actions can help you deal with them more effectively. In some cases, calling out a bully in front of their peers may be enough to halt their despicable behavior, particularly if they're after a cheap laugh or simply enjoy being cruel. But watch out for the more narcissistic individuals who may be seeking to elevate their own egos and status at any cost. Don't be fooled by those with sociopathic tendencies either, as their actions could lead to volatile consequences. One way to boost your own self-confidence is to take a closer look at your posture and body language. Focus on standing tall and walking with purpose, rather than resembling a shrinking violet. Shedding any excess weight may also make a positive difference, but this isn't about fad diets or grueling exercise regimes, calorie counting is key. Make eye contact when addressing others, and shake hands with authority. Remember, confidence can be cultivated, even if it doesn't come naturally, so practice faking it until you feel it. Gradually, positive feedback will help bolster your self-belief. When interacting with others, take risks and engage with people in low-stake situations, such as with sales associates or during casual conversations. Believe that you have the power to tackle any challenge, even if you can't find an immediate solution. Ruminating over worries and fears all day long will only serve to undermine your emotional equilibrium, leaving you more vulnerable to bullies or other life stresses. 
Remember, bullies are often motivated by low self-esteem and a desire to exert control over someone else. Don't let them prey on your own lack of confidence. Stand up tall and don't let them bring you down. The ultimate weapon against haters is not to fight fire with fire, but to embrace your inner strength and bask in your own awesomeness. It may seem like a daunting task, wrestling with self-doubt, but with a little perseverance, you'll be amazed by how far you can go. If a hater attempts to ridicule your love for books, for instance, fear not. When you're comfortable in your own skin, you can boldly show off your passion and confidently own it. The naysayer's attempts to bring you down will fall on deaf ears, and you'll radiate an air of unassailable confidence to those around you. Of course, while it's essential to love and respect yourself, it's equally important to protect yourself from the negativity of haters. Steer clear of these energy drainers, and surround yourself with uplifting and supportive individuals who appreciate you for who you are. So, dear reader, let your confidence shine like a bright beacon and never let the haters dim your light. You've got this. I hope this video was really helpful, see you in the next video. Peace, love and life.